Hey guys, my name is Molly Roach, and I'm a second year here at Kansas State University's College of Veterinary Medicine. And I'd like to show you some of the spaces we have here in Trotter Hall. We're currently in Aero Cafe in Trotter Basement. It's open throughout the week for breakfast and lunch. It has flexible hours and is often used as a study space for other students. My personal favorite thing to order here is a dirty chai tea latte. Um, ask for that in maple syrup. Every week you can nominate a fellow classmate for a well-being award through the counselor's office. If they're chosen, they will get a certificate for a free drink or a lunch menu item here at the cafe. Whether you prefer to study as an individual or in a group, Aero Cafe is the perfect place to study throughout the week. In addition to the nearby university recreational facilities, Trotter Hall also has its own exercise room. This room has 24-hour access to students, faculty, and staff. While vet school may be challenging at times, the college likes to emphasize mental and physical well-being. This particular space was the result of a student-led initiative. At the College of Veterinary Medicine, our counseling services offers a variety of resources and programs, including two full-time counselors. These professionals will work with any student, faculty member, or staff member. And much like any other doctor in our hospital, they are on call 24-7. Students are given unlimited complimentary access to these counselors. In addition, these counselors work with fourth years on their communication skills. The college recognizes that an important and essential part of veterinary medicine is successful communication with clients. Hey everyone, my name is Kaylee Visser. I'm a third year veterinary student here at K-State, and here we are in the clinical skills lab. This is an area where we take our clinical skills course. It was a course that was just added to our curriculum not too long ago. It helps first through third year students work on various skills such as animal restraint and handling, um, different suture patterns, setting up fluid pumps, client communication skills, venue puncture. And with that, we also have an awesome faculty here that helps to build these custom one-of-a-kind models to help us practice so that when we come to the live patient fourth year, we've done this before and it's not something new. So in class here at the Clinical Skills Lab, we'll usually start off with a short lecture and then we'll go right into hands-on work with some classmates. It's around 60 classmates and I've enjoyed that a lot because I get to connect with students here that maybe I hadn't got to in the lecture hall. And we develop skills to really help us prepare for our fourth year clinical rotations. And I've gotten to work in the small animal ICU. So just the other day, I got to place a urinary catheter, which was awesome. But if it weren't for my uh, skills that I learned here in the clinical skills lab, I wouldn't have known as much what to do in that situation. Hi everyone, my name is Molly Allison. I am a second year veterinary student here at K-State and we are in the Wally Cash uh, Anatomy and Physiology Suite on the third floor of Trotter. And what makes this space so wonderful is that it was newly renovated due to a generous donation from an alumni member. And it's just a wonderful place to study and, and get a lot of work done, because you'll be doing a lot of that. <laughs> So there are many ways that students are able to utilize our anatomy lab. One of those ways is to work in groups. Normally during class, we work in groups of four um, at individual tables. And um, we are normally in class um, for the five-day school week. Uh, we have afternoon lab for a few hours uh, for four of those days. And um, the, the lab is also open for 24 hours outside of that class time. So if students want to leave, go home, have dinner, and then come back to lab to study, that is absolutely okay. A couple different features of our, of our lab tables, which are really cool, are that we have downdraft tables, which makes it much more comfortable to be in here for the for the few hours that we are each day because it it takes away um, a lot of that irritating formaldehyde smell so so students can work and and not you know have to step outside and, and readjust themselves <laughs> for that we also have individual monitors which are great for for self-study um, students can plug in their computers and project images from those monitors and also professors um, are able to project instructional videos that they, um, that they want students to see and then we can also easily find structures that way. Um, and then as far as um, amount of time spent out of the lab, I would say for myself, it's usually about you know two hours per, per day that we have lab um, and I like to leave and come back and, and work. So it's, it's really easy for my lifestyle. 
since I've spent so many hours here in the anatomy and physiology lab first semester, um, I have a pretty good idea of how it impacted my success as a first year student. So one of those um, ways that it impacted uh, my success was that group work that we did in lab. So I remember particularly the, the second anatomy exam that we had in the fall semester. And my anatomy group and I, me and three other people, were nervous about this exam. It covered a lot of material. And what made it great was that we were able to come into lab outside of class time. And because it's a 24 hour access lab, we were able to use our ID badges to get in and out securely. And we came um, and sat at a table and with our cadaver, and tested each other and made sure that we were all confident about that material. So coming into that exam, we, we took a breath and we were able to move through the stations and, and get through that exam at a much better than we may have otherwise. So that um, being able to come and work, do group work was really important for me. My name is Maddie Butterfield and we're here at the third floor of Trotter Hall where this is the lecture hall that's predominantly used for the first year class. As you can see, it's pretty large and it actually holds an entire graduating class for the College of Veterinary Medicine here at Kansas State. Um, so this is the lecture hall that we spend most of our time in. Uh, this is where we will receive most of the lectures for the first year curriculum. That curriculum really covers the basis of the veterinary knowledge that we'll use for the rest of our careers. So that really includes things like anatomy and physiology. It will include histology, epidemiology, immunology, and all of the other ologies that you could kind of imagine. So we'll spend a lot of time here listening to lectures that our professors will come in and give from the front. And during that time, we'll look at diagrams and watch videos, and we'll just really kind of incorporate a lot of that knowledge. And from here, then we have the opportunity to take all of the things we've learned in here and apply it in a more hands-on fashion in the gross anatomy lab as well as in the clinical skills lab. So with all of these different classes that we're taking and all of the things that we're learning, there are a lot of resources here at the College of Veterinary Medicine to make sure that we stay on track and to keep getting ahead. Two of my favorite things that I've gotten to be able to do at the College of Veterinary Medicine is the ability to study with a group and the availability of our professors that are teaching us. Um, there's a ton of spaces here at the College of Vet Med that really allows us to collaborate and work together because if I'm good at something and you're good at something else, the two of us get to learn those two things simultaneously. Um, the college is really excellent about making sure that we have space and the resources we need to be able to collaborate with one another and that's been a really excellent resource to have. The second is the availability of our faculty that is teaching us. Uh, one specific example that I really like is one of our physiology professors always comes to the library uh, in the evening, before uh, the day before his own exams. So he takes time out of his evening to come make sure that we're well prepared for his exams. And I think really just that availability and that dedication of the faculty to our learning is a really great asset that the College of Vet Med makes available to its students. So it's the availability of our faculty mentors, our faculty just in general at the college, as well as the availability of places and resources for group study that has really been my favorite part of the resources that we have here uh, at the College of Vet Med. So we're here on the third floor of Trotter Hall in the recently renovated uh, third floor student success center. This was designed specifically for the needs of first year students uh, specifically in mind. So between this space, the gross anatomy lab and the lecture hall, this is where you'll spend most of your time as a first year student. So with all the classes and responsibilities of, a, of being a first year veterinary student, this Student Success Center really provides us all of the accommodations necessary to really feel like this is a home away from home for us. You'll see there's a lot of comfy chairs and there's tables, um, and that really helps us to be to able either study individually or to study in groups. You'll also see that there's a big kitchenette in the back, um, which a lot of students uh, really utilize to be able to eat lunch in here, as well as like breakfast and dinner and really any meal at any hour of the day. So you'll find students here at every hour of the day and night really, and it really just becomes a place that students can gather and share experiences and study together while we're here during our first year. So one of my favorite memories from this Student Success Center from my first year was when all of the first years hosted a Friendsgiving in November for all of the students and the faculty that had been teaching us and the staff that had been helping us in the College of Vet Med. And it was a really fun way that we could really get to know our faculty on a different level. A lot of them brought their kids and we came in after our lecture and it was a really great time and we got to have lots of good food. 
Um, and so it was just a really fun way for us to be able to gather and really get to know each other outside of the classroom, especially before the end of the semester. And so it was a really great opportunity for us, and I don't think it would have been at all possible um, without the Student Success Center. Hi everyone, I'm MJ Wenger and I'm a second year veterinary student here at K-State. We're here in the College of Veterinary Medicine Library. This is a recently renovated space that's dedicated for College of Veterinary Medicine students. Students have 24 hour access to this space. Security is paramount at the College of Veterinary Medicine. Only students who have an ID badge are allowed access into the library as well as into many classrooms and laboratories. As you can see, the library has many open spaces and private conference rooms to accommodate all forms of studying, both individual and group, for all the classes that are offered here at the College of Veterinary Medicine. Right now, we're in one of the study conference rooms provided for student use in the Veterinary Medicine Library. I personally spent a lot of time in this conference room with my friends for group studying. Our student laptops that were provided with do connect to the overhead TVs. I spent a lot of time in here with my peers looking at radiographs and lecture and lab notes, and this facilitated more of a discussion, which really helped with learning. In my opinion, this opportunity for group study was absolutely critical for my learning here, and these spaces in the Vet Med Library are valuable to all of us as students. At the start of your first year, every student is provided with a laptop by the college. Using this laptop, students have access to notes, diagrams, online textbooks, and other materials that are needed for class. Within the Vet Med Library, students can find the printing and design services. These services allow students to print posters, study guides, and any other resources they might need. You can also find our professional library staff that's available to assist with finding medical textbooks, research articles, and any other references available for veterinary medicine. Hi, my name is Peyton Wise. I'm a second year student here at the Kansas State University College of Veterinary Medicine. Welcome to our first floor student success center. A recently renovated space, this place is the perfect place for any student as it was designed with the student in mind. With the perfect design for flexibility as well as comfort, students can create what they need for their study habits, socialization needs, or even just a place to take a nap. Student groups, as well as individuals, study sessions, or whatever the student needs can be created here with the ability to move desks, chairs, as well as place things on monitors. With 24-7 access, students have the flexibility to make this space their own. The First Floor Student Success Center also contains a kitchenette space for students. With plenty of appliances, students can brew coffee or tea should they feel the need to motivate themselves in between classes. Additionally, they can meal prep, hold their snacks, or even just socialize here in the kitchenette space. The Purple Pantry is also located here in the kitchenette. This is an extension of Cat's Cupboard on main campus. It addresses the food insecurities that some of our students may have to eliminate this stress on their daily lives. As a new student here at the Kansas State University College of Veterinary Medicine, I was really excited to get involved in many of the student organizations they offer here. Many of the organizations utilize the on-campus spaces to hold meetings as well as group sessions. This space was used for one of my canine club executive team meetings. We were able to move tables and desks around to fit what we needed. We could plan presentations on the monitors by hooking up our school laptops. This was perfect for us and what we needed, and I appreciate the Kansas State University and sharing that its students have the resources we need to be successful, not only academically, but also socially and professionally.